What's up, my people? So getting into today's episode of The Young and the Restless. So my Aunt Jordan was looking real good, like always. She may be crazy. She's crazy, crazy, crazy. She's Cocoa for Cocoa Puffs. She's a dingbat. I mean, she's just, she's deranged. But I still love her anyways. Because she managed to do what everyone's been trying to do for years. She's finally keeping the Newman family on their toes. Like, you're going to be shocked. But after today, I'm starting to like Victoria a little bit. I'm like, I know, I'm shocked. I'm shocked to say that too. But the next time I see her in a scene and she's a bitch to Adam again, I'm going to go right back to Aiden her. But I kind of liked Victoria today. Because she then called out Michael Baldwin and was like, look, um, Aunt Jordan is the real problem here. So Claire is the victim. We need to get her some help. Regardless, I, I don't care if she's my daughter or not. I'm still going to ride for her on this because she can't help how her crazy ass aunt raised her to be. Which I'm like, that is so true, Victoria. So I'm proud of you for being compassionate for once in your miserable life. Um, I'm really happy for you, Victoria. So I liked her a little bit today. So mark my mark this word if you want to use something against me in the future, because I can guarantee you when she's a bitch to Adam again, I'm gonna go right back to hating her. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something like, I've never once liked her. And then you could you could pull up this video on this date of December eleventh, twenty twenty three at three twenty five PM and I said otherwise. So um that was mainly for for um my boomer subscriber Darby that was looking for dirt to take me down. This this is right here. That is there for you. So in case I'm, since I like to, I like to do the same thing to my friend Albert Bostick. Um, I gave y'all y'all leverage back because I can guarantee you, when she's a bitch to Adam again, I'm gonna act act just like, I'm gonna act like this never happened. Guarantee. But I gave you the date and everything. So write it down. There you go. Free leverage. But um, but seriously, and I'm not gonna lie, she was looking good today too. So I'm taking back all the times I'll call Victoria ugly. I'm just taking, I'm going to take that back because she looked good today. She did. Um, but I'm happy. She, she, um, cause Michael was sitting there on talking about, oh, after everything she, she's done. Um, cause she's a grown woman. She's liable. She's not innocent in this. Um, and you really want me to still represent her? And she said, Victoria said, yeah. But it was contingent on a DNA test plan. So um, Cole's going to go back to the house to go snatch up Claire's DNA regardless. So whether Claire wants to participate in this or not, we'll go back on that. Um, then she's still going to be helped by Michael Baldwin. And Michael, you have a past of your own too. So you better find some compassion for my girl Claire because she deserves it. Claire deserves this compassion because she's damaged by her crazy aunt who I still love regardless. That's my Aunt Jordan. Not by blood, obviously, but she's my aunt. The character. Because let me let me be clear, though. Because I write... I write um, my, my name's Kat. For any new subscribers that have stepped... that has stepped... stuck by me so far um, should know that I write I write books as well. Um so a character like Aunt Jordan short it is um inspiring of a whole new level of crazy. She give Ariana the main villain character of my book who I despise. Um by the way, I absolutely despise the character that I wrote. Ain't that some crap? But, but yeah, she's making, she's giving Ariana a run for her money and crazy. Well, Ariana's a bitch, but stay tuned for that, that release at some point next year or some point. Cause I'm still, that's still in the, one of the final stages though. Cause I have rewrote something, but getting back into the young and the restless though. Um, I mean, getting all, all off track for a second. But that's okay. It's good. To, it's good to be human. Five seconds. So Nikki is is all shook up 
because those text messages that presumably my Aunt Jordan has been sending to her. But I've seen this crazy Aunt Jordan with, with the thing, but I never saw her with no telephone, so who knows if it's really Aunt Jordan that's sending that, that out. We don't know. Um, but what we do know is that Aunt Jordan got got it ready. She got the poisons ready. She got more poisons ready, and she 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 got a, a sharp a sharp knife ready. So she ready for these new men's. Um, a real twist I would I would say that would come up that would make the young and the restless keep it, keep it on this hot treat if Abby's the one that she stabs. Because think about it, nobody would see that coming. Absolutely, no one would see that coming. Um, cause, and then they would suspect that Tucker did that. So that would just fuel Jack and all them hatreds because they wouldn't know that Aunt Jordan is behind this. But, and Vic, and it would throw Victor off the trail too because, um, Jack and all of them are worried about Tucker. So Victor might be on that boat about making Tucker pay too. But he might get distracted for a brief second from Aunt Jordan. Which would allow them to stretch her out and let, let her stay for as long as possible. Because the longer Aunt Jordan stays, the better for the shot. I, I'm just saying that. But yeah. Um, but Nikki's insisting on going back to work. Um, good for her. But... She revealed to Victoria that text message and she was scared. So she's all shook up. And Victoria's like, yo, we, we, um, she has to be found. Someone has, we have to stop her. We have to stop her. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. But, but yeah. We shall, we shall see. Cause, Aunt Jordan said that those Newmans don't like to lose. They they think they think they they're untouchable that they can't lose. But um, I got something for them. I'm like, okay, cool that. And then Adam bumped into Nick. Nick the bitch Newman. Um, this is why I'm still I'm happy that Nick is still in pain from his little from his little chest wound, as he should be because that's what he deserves. So Adam's like, hey, um, what's, what's been going on? And Nick's like, nothing. Um, what, are you, what are you talking about? Talk about, oh, it's it's a person, it's a personal matter. And then Adam's like, okay. I'm assuming, so I'm assuming I'm left out of the loop because it's none of my business. He's like, yep. And then Sally bumped into him. And then that's when Nick showed his, his signs of pain. And... I was happy about it because I'm happy when Nick is in pain. But speaking, speaking of what else about Adam, um, he was looking good today. I, li I like that new beard on him. He was looking like a snack. I'm not gonna lie. Cause as much as I love Mark Grossman, I've never before today, I never once found him kind of attractive. Cause yeah, that's right. I, I go both ways. So, um, I noticed, I, I noticed beauty all around. I don't care, men, women, I don't care. I, I I notice you all. But he was he was looking like a real snack today for the first time I've ever saw him as a snack. I mean, I, I thought he was nice looking and all that, but he's just my boy. But I'm like, but today, I'm like, ooh. Sally, she better quit quit playing her little games before I make my move. Because let's not, let's not pretend Adam's been with a man before. So, hey, I'll... Even though he did that for a different reason, but hey, he still did it. So I got a shot. <laughs> so Sally better get it together. It was like pulling teeth to get her to go to um to go on this damn date with him to get this restarted. But Michael did indeed go meet with Claire, and she he was telling when she was telling him everything. You could tell his compassion was starting to come out. So yes, because Claire does deserve our compassion. She really does, even though she's an idiot and her aunt is crazy. They're still lovable, okay? Her aunt needs to needs um, at least 20 different psychiatric medications and some shock treatments. And 
and to be cuffed in a room for solitary. But Claire, on the other hand, she'll be all right in a few years. As long as she don't go look at her nose down at Adam for any reason, then we're good. I like Claire. I hope she sticks around for the long haul. Because Nikki will get over it. Talk about, oh, I, I can't see anything. She's just a monster. We'll see how long you keep that energy. Because that is your blood granddaughter, so we'll see. If Nikki keeps the same energy for over a year, then I'll have a little more respect for her hatred of Adam. Because I'll be like, okay, that's cool. You can keep that same energy, even whether that's your family or not. If that lasts a full calendar year into 2025 and Nikki still hates Claire, then I'll be like, okay. But I don't see that. That's just how it is. But Victor and Nikki are not happy right now about Victoria hiring Michael for Claire. But whatever. But Nick don't want to argue with Victoria, of course. Because all Nick knows is how to be a little bitch towards Adam. That's all Nick knows how to do. But... I believe that was pretty much everything, but let me let me double check on my screen here instead of um yes that was mostly everything in this episode. So let me know let me know what you thought you guys thought about this episode in the comment section below, and I will see you all later. Have a great day. Peace.